one thing for me. Before you say anything, uh, I'd like to tell you something, and it's very painful for me, so just let me finish, and then you tell me what you think. All right. Uh, I did what I did with J.R. the first time because he told me that he'd uh, help me win you over. How was I to know he'd make a tape out of it? I hated it, Bobby. All the time I was thinking of you. I wanted it to be you, but I knew how you felt about me. And JR told me that he'd help. It's when I did that stupid thing. I really despised myself for it. And all the time since, it was because he blackmailed me. He threatened to play you that tape. And J.R. told me how you felt about other women who slept with him. Holly Harwood, for one. And then when I'd done everything that J.R. wanted me to do, I couldn't believe that he'd actually play that tape for you. I only hope it hasn't made you hate me. Catherine, what are you talking about? What, what tape? The tape of J.R. and me in bed together. You know. No, I don't know. J.R. never played any tape with the two of you together for me. But he told me. Obviously, he lied to you. What makes you think it would matter to me one way or the other that you went to bed with J.R., except for the fact that he's already married? Because I knew it would take away any chance I had of being with you. Catherine, you have never had a chance with me like that. I've tried to tell you that time and time again. I have never felt that way about you. I never will. But I could make you love me if it wasn't for jail. No. Catherine, if I had cared about you, your going to bed with J.R. would have made a difference. But as far as I'm concerned, we're friends. Just friends. At least I thought we were. Doesn't the fact that you're Pam's sister mean anything to you? Only that I had to wait for the two of you to divorce before I could go after you. Oh. I don't know you at all, do I? Catherine, you're a liar and who knows what else. And I would like it much better if you would just keep away from me. Just stay out of my life. Bobby, I love you. No. Well, maybe you do, Catherine. Maybe you do. But it's a sick kind of love. And you and JR truly deserve one another. Bobby! Can I bring you something? Ah, oh. scotch, double, please.